Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, specifically Sakurai's column that he usually has in Famitsu. There's a new issue, so we got new translations thanks to Push Dustin and Japanese Switch on Twitter. So let's go ahead and dive into this translation, which mainly focuses on the trailers that they've released for Smash Ultimate and even Smash Wii U, basically saying how they're a celebration. So these trailers, of course, did start with Smash 3DS and Wii U, and the reasoning behind them is to first provide something that fans will enjoy, and secondly, to create some buzz. All of the fighter reveal trailers has both CG animation and gameplay, but this time Sakurai's only talking about the CG animation. Next column in about two weeks is when he'll talk about the gameplay. So the first thing that he does is actually write the scripts for these trailers. He writes each scene and where it'll be cut and includes a lot of details. He also writes what the music will be and what will be said, and when it cuts to the gameplay he initially just notes that there will be gameplay here. Ever since Smash 3DS and Wii U, a company called Digital Frontier has helped with these trailers, and Yohei Shimozawa has directed many of these trailers. So what Digital Frontier's role is, is that they hear a detailed explanation of how the CG parts of the trailer should be made. From there, they make a storyboard, and if that's okay, they then create a video storyboard to get the timing and tempo down. So after adjusting things like the music and sound, then work is done on updating the character models and the scenery. If the character models were just imported into the CG movie, they wouldn't feel right, so work is done in making everything feel cohesive. After that, work is done on the animation, the camera, and etc., such as blur and post effects that are added as well. Sakurai is there to check at every step, and he is very thankful for the work that Digital Frontier has done, as Sakurai is very busy with working on the game itself. He ends his column with a message from Shimozawa of Digital Frontier, who expresses gratitude to work on the trailers and to have them loved by so many people around the world. So yeah, in the next column, Sakurai will talk about the gameplay footage part of the trailers, and that'll be interesting to see what they do to get that specific footage and how they have little nods to the actual games within those gameplay bits. But yeah, that sort of breaks down the process of how these trailers are made and what goes into them and how involved Sakurai is. It's a pretty cool process, but what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Super Smash Bros. and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.